What can you see this Showtime weekend? Tonight at 8, see Whoopi Goldberg in the smash hit comedy Sister Act, followed by Malcolm McDowell in the premiere of Jezebel's Kiss, and then on Showtime Late Night, Exposure. Saturday, see three sexy thrillers. Don Johnson in the premiere of the Showtime exclusive Guilty as Sin at 8, followed by Kidnap, a Red Shoe Diary, and then Sharon Stone and Michael Douglas in Basic Instinct. And Sunday at 8, see Scott Glenn in the premiere of the Showtime original movie, Past Tense, followed by Eddie Murphy in Beverly Hills Cop, and then on Showtime Late Night, Basket Case 3, The Progeny. See it all on Showtime. The assassin. Do you really have the guts to take a bullet? The agent. What do you see when you're in the dark and the demons come? Both are willing to treat their lives for the president. Cut! John Malkovich. Clint Eastwood. You're looking at a living legend. In the line of fire. Coming in July only on Showtime. Tonight, we're talking about wishes and dreams. What's your wish this Christmas Eve? What's your Maybe wish? The best present My you wish give yourself is to turn the radio to station. The number in Chicago. When two people are destined to meet, Walter and I are engaged. <laughs> neither time nor distance can keep them apart. If you've just tuned in, we're talking to Sleepless in Seattle. You call the radio station? Christmas Eve. He phones in one of those radio call-in shows, tells them his dad needs a new wife. And the shrinkette practically forces the guy onto the phone and says, Tell me what was so special about your wife. Well, Dr. Marshall Fieldstone, it was like... Magic. Magic. Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan star in Sleepless in Seattle. Directed and written by Nora Ephron, the film also stars Rob Reiner, Rosie O'Donnell, Bill Pullman, and Ross Mallinger. When I was growing up, I used to think, God, where is the guy that I'm going to marry? Where is he right now? What's he doing right now? Drinking their orange juice the same time you're drinking your orange juice. And someday, fate and destiny will take a hand, and we'll meet, and we'll fall in love. Beck. What? Is this crazy? No. That's the weirdest part about it. Thank you. He already has a visual image that personifies that person who is the second chance. Uh, and it just happens to be the woman who is the second chance. Isn't that, isn't that goofy the way that works out? Yeah, that the hope, the hope that springs eternal is that there is someone out there for you somewhere waiting, growing up, doing their thing. I think that you can see how these people really need each other to complement uh, each other's uh, uh, points of view. Where is Seattle? Right. Where is Baltimore? right there. Look, one, two, three, four, there's like 26 states. They're just perfect for each other. And they've, they're in separate worlds, and, and that's the whole point, you know? Sleepless in Seattle, premiering Sunday, June 19th at 8 p.m. only on Showtime. extraordinary story that happens to be true. It's about the, the youth of the country, uh, the youth that Hitler tried to co-opt, and uh, our story is about a group of friends who tried to resist that, uh, who resisted through swing music. Robert Sean Leonard is caught, uh, he plays Peter in the movie, is caught between the dilemma of being uh, drawn into being a Hitler youth uh, or hanging on to swing music and, and all the freedom and uh, life and vitality and youth that that uh, embraces. No one who likes swing can become a Nazi. Swing high. How Benny? A one, two, three, four. When I first saw people doing it, I thought there was no way in, in uh, heaven or hell I could even begin to to try to match what they were doing. In this movie, swing dancing is a metaphor for freedom at a time when everything was about suppression. It's a film about the friendship between Thomas and Peter and um, the different ways they will go about things, the different decisions they make. What the hell's gotten into you? 
You're turning into a Nazi. Or so what if I am? I thought that this was the most um, encouraging story about that that I had ever heard. Because if it could happen in Nazi Germany, if it did happen in Nazi Germany, then it could happen anywhere, at any time. And the human spirit, you cannot destroy. So much passion. And that's what our movie's about. It's about the courage of youth. To hell with all of them! Swing Kids, this month only on Showtime. Whoopi Goldberg's not your garden variety nun. I'm a penguin! Not since the sound of music has a woman been so misplaced in a convent. As from now and until you leave, you are Sister Mary Clarence. Mary Clarence, like, like Clarence Williams III from the Mod Squad. She's one part lounge act. Whenever I'm with them, something inside. One part fugitive. People wish to kill you. Anyone who's met you, I imagine. One part feel-good box office blockbuster. And she brings all new meaning to the term soul music. Whoopi Goldberg is habit-forming in Sister Act. Tonight on Showtime. Hasn't anyone ever said no to you before? My wife said no just before I threw her out the window. When you fear your clients are killer. By law, I'm forbidden to repeat anything you tell me in confidence. Frankly, I'm beginning to tire of you. You better dump his defense and prepare your own. I've gotta get him before he gets me. Don Johnson, Rebecca De Mornay, Guilty as Sin. Premiering tomorrow at 8, 7 Central on Showtime. Hi, Macaulay Culkin here. Welcome to the making of Getting Even With Dad, starring me and Ted Danson as my dad. Want to see how I get even? Come on, I'll take you behind the scenes. I have a little home video to show you. These events that you're about to see actually occurred. Rent the cop has arrived. Detour is wired. Hey, fellas, how you doing? This afternoon, two armed guards were robbed of one and a half million dollars in rare coins. It's a story about how an 11-year-old blackmails his father into going straight. After I raided your hiding place, I spread your coins out here on the table and videotaped them with my camera. I also got some good shots of you guys coming into the building, so I'm sure the cops will have no trouble identifying you. He's run my life ever since he's, you know, stepped into it. You want to know what I want? I want this. Giants game, the aquarium, the museum, what? what? You, you want to go to these places? And really what I need to do is just allow him to love me, you know, and to love him back. I want you to pretend you like having me around for the week. If you do a real good job, Dad, I'll tell you what the coins are. To me, it's a love story between this young boy and his father, and they're coming together. Happy birthday to For all the birthdays I missed him. I think Mac and I have a, a nice father-son thing going. I guess your family was dysfunctional too. That's what we are. You and me. We're dysfunctional. You've been watching way too much Oprah. <laughs> Cut! That was great. So what'd you think? If you want to see more of the movie, just ask your parents to take you. Or you can always try blackmail. This is June, in need of TLC. She paints, she reads, she lights things on fire. An oddball like her might find happiness with an oddball like him. I'm Sam. I love the idea of these three people getting together and learning from each other. Johnny Depp, Aiden Quinn, and Mary Stuart Masterson. We have to tell him. I love him! Benny and June, a romance on the brink of reality. This month on Showtime. Kate and Doug have an edge to their relationship. Hey, Snow White, relax. I'm no figure skater. I'm a hockey player. I'm terribly impressed. They're partners with the same goal. Have a good day, Joe. They'll have to put up with each other. I'm talking about Olympic gold medals. Because they're each other's only hope. 
We're doing the Pemchenko. It's no good, Kate. It's too dangerous. On the next Showtime family movie, Dee Dee Sweeney and Moira Kelly star in The Cutting Edge. Sunday on Showtime. It's Eddie Murphy. I'm on vacation. In beautiful downtown Beverly Hills. Is this your car? Oh, no. In Beverly Hills, we just take whichever car's closest. And one of the biggest blockbuster comedies of all time. Look, man, I ain't falling for no banana in my tailpipe. <laughs> would someone like to tell me what really happened? You know, I think that would be bad. Eddie Murphy. This place has the worst security in the nation. In the movie that started it all, Beverly Hills Cop. Sunday on Showtime. It's a world of move, counter move, and murder. I want to play a game with you. Listen, I don't have time for this. You have time for Debbie. There's no blood where the hell's the blood. It's like he's laughing at us. Anything that gets in the way is an obstacle and must be destroyed. Christopher Lambert. You want to arrest me? Do it. Diane Lane. Tom Skerritt. One false move could be his last. Night Moves, Monday on Showtime. This summer, go for the adventure with Stallone and Cliffhanger. You're not gonna die. Go for the romance with Tom and Meg in Sleepless in Seattle. This is really fun. Go for the action with Eastwood in the Line of Fire. Got it. This summer, go for the biggest stars and the biggest hits. This summer, go to the movies with Showtime. What can you see this Showtime weekend? Tonight at 8, see Whoopi Goldberg in the smash hit comedy Sister Act, followed by Malcolm McDowell in the premiere of Jezebel's Kiss, and then on Showtime late night, Exposure. Saturday, see three sexy thrillers. Don Johnson in the premiere of the Showtime exclusive Guilty as Sin at 8, followed by Kidnap, a red shoe diary, and then Sharon Stone and Michael Douglas in Basic Instinct. And Sunday at 8, see Scott Glenn in the premiere of the Showtime original movie Past Tense, followed by Eddie Murphy in Beverly Hills Cop, and then on Showtime late night, Basket Case 3, The Progeny. See it all on Showtime. The following exclusive movie is brought to you by Showtime. Unedited and commercial free. The following movie is rated PG-13. It contains violence and adult content. Viewer discretion advised. What can you see this Showtime weekend? Tonight at 8, see Whoopi Goldberg in the smash hit comedy Sister Act, followed by Malcolm McDowell in the premiere of Jezebel's Kiss, and then on Showtime late night, Exposure. Saturday, see three sexy thrillers. Don Johnson in the premiere of the Showtime exclusive Guilty as Sin at 8, followed by Kidnap, a red shoe diary, and then Sharon Stone and Michael Douglas in Basic Instinct. And Sunday at 8, see Scott Glenn in the premiere of the Showtime original movie, Past Tense, followed by Eddie Murphy in Beverly Hills Cop, and then on Showtime late night, Basket Case 3, The Progeny. See it all on Showtime. This summer, enter Showtime's big hit movie sweepstakes for your chance to win an awesome grand prize giveaway. Go for the adventure like Stallone in Cliffhanger. You and the guest might win a trip to the Rockies, a trek through the mountains, and a suitcase filled with $3,500 cash. Or go for the romance. Like Tom and Meg in Sleepless in Seattle, enter now and the two of you might find yourselves whisked away on a whirlwind tour of cities featured in the movie. Plus, wine, dine, and dance at New York's famous Rainbow Room and take in all the sights high atop the Empire State Building. Or go for the action in the line of fire. Enter Showtime's big hit movie sweepstakes and you might win a trip to our nation's capital. Tour D.C. presidential style with limousine service, a deluxe hotel room, and a visit to the White House. So come on, catch all of the big hit movies premiering on Showtime.
plus the chance to win one of thousands of other great prizes, like Epic Record CD, more songs for sleepless nights, and $10 gift certificates good at Music Land, Sam Goody, and Suncoast Motion Picture Company stores. Just visit one of these stores and pick up an official entry blank or send a 3 by 5 postcard with your name, address, and phone number to Showtime's Big Hit Movie Sweepstakes, P.O. Box 4062, Grand Rapids, Minnesota, 55730. This summer, Showtime's gonna sizzle with big hit movies and the chance to win your choice of an adventure, romance, or action grand prize giveaway. So don't miss out. Enter Showtime's big hit movie sweepstakes. Go for the grand prize and go to the movies with Showtime. Is your wife rich? Rebecca De Mornay. Very. Don Johnson. We stand to inherit a great deal of money. I did not murder anybody. In the beginning, we believe him, and only as it starts to unfold do we see the depth of his ability to manipulate. Suddenly, her world is turned upside down. So far, everyone's believed everything I wanted them to. What happens when you fear your client is guilty as sin? Premiering tomorrow at 8, 7 Central on Showtime. Kate and Doug have an edge to their relationship. Hey, Snow White, relax. I'm no figure skater. I'm a hockey player. I'm terribly impressed. They're partners with the same goal. Don't quit your day job. They'll have to put up with each other. I'm talking about Olympic gold medal. Because they're each other's only hope. We're doing the Pemchenko. It's no good, Kate. It's too dangerous. On the next Showtime family movie, Dee Dee Sweeney and Moira Kelly star in The Cutting Edge. Sunday on Showtime. It's the 90s. You're overloaded with choices about what your family can watch, and your kids are bored with a capital B, with everything. Then along comes Shelley Duvall's Mrs. Piggle Wiggle, starring Gene Stapleton, and you think, hmm, this sure seems different. Ta-ta! Sound like a pipe dream? Maybe it's a dream come true. The production is an original in every way, starting with the next-door neighbor who has magical cures for what ails ya. It was so charming. What a wonderful concept, full of wit, imagination, and invention. And executive producer Shelley Duvall knew she had a winner as soon as she read the books by Betty McDonald that the series is based on. These are great. Let's do it. And that's exactly what happened in New Zealand. This is the production office. This is one of our set mascots, Nigel's dog, Gloria. This is for a very special shot. We're going to take a camera right down the main street. Lighting equipment. More stuff. That's what it's all about. Lights, cameras, action. Oh, and plenty of kids. And animals. Mrs. Piggle Wiggle has a lot of both. It's been fun. <laughs> We're working with pigs and dogs and sheep and Oh, we had uh, three dogs and sheep. Uh, we've got two parrots that stand in for each other. And just because it was shot in New Zealand didn't stop the stars from coming down to make special guest appearances. It teaches uh, kids a sense of responsibility, and it does it in a very uh, light and humorous way. The unbeatable combination of award-winning children's series creator Shelley Duvall, stars like Gene Stapleton, and all those kids and animals make Mrs. Piggle Wiggle what it is, something the whole family will want to watch. Feels good to do something for kids. Mrs. Piggle Wiggle, a Showtime original family series. Tuesday on Showtime. What can you see this Showtime weekend? Tonight at 8, see Whoopi Goldberg in the smash hit comedy Sister Act, followed by Malcolm McDowell in the premiere of Jezebel's Kiss. And then on Showtime late night, Exposure. Saturday, see three sexy thrillers. Don Johnson in the premiere of the Showtime exclusive Guilty as Sin at 8. Followed by Kidnap, a Red Shoe Diary. And then Sharon Stone and Michael Douglas in Basic Instinct. And Sunday at 8, see Scott Glenn in the premiere of the Showtime movie Past Tense. Followed by Eddie Murphy in Beverly Hills Cop. And then on Showtime Late Night, Basket Case 3, The Progeny. See it all on Showtime. The following movie is rated PG. It contains adult content. Viewer discretion advised.